Hey, what's up? This is Christopher, and I have another Final Cut Pro 10 Basics for Beginners video here. This one is a little bit more advanced. I'm going to show you how to apply this cool depth of field technique. Uh, it's basically a fake depth of field, and we're going to apply this to this clip here. So I have this little short clip. You'll notice that the subject is clearly in focus, and then the background is blurred. But let me show you something. So this is the original clip here. I'm going to play it. And you'll notice that everything in the background is in focus. You can see everything clearly. That's what depth of field is, kind of like where the background is blurred, but the subject is in focus. Now let me enable this clip here. And now we're going to play it again. And you'll notice that the background is blurred while the subject is still in focus. Of course, you could fine tune this to get you know some of these people back here in the back. You're just going to have to adjust this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to apply this simple technique to one of your files all right so first thing we're going to do let me turn off these effects here so you'll notice that i have two clips in my timeline so what you want to do is you want to select your clip that you want to apply this fake depth of field effect to you're going to have this in your timeline go ahead and start your project put your clip in your timeline and what you can do is with the clip selected you'll notice the yellow bound and box around it you're going to press command c on your keyboard now make sure your playhead is at the beginning of your clip when you press Command V and go ahead and press Command V on your clip and it should paste it on top of your clip. If for some reason it puts it at the beginning or the end, just select the clip and then drag it on top of your timeline, on top of the other clip. Should match up perfectly like so. So you should see two clips like this. So now that you have both clips on your timeline or with one on top of the other, on the bottom clip, go ahead and select that and hit V on your keyboard. That's going to disable the bottom clip. All right, so go ahead and select your top clip. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the effects browser. And oh, that was transitions <laughs> to the effects browser here. And under video, we're going to look for mask. The mask is right here. You're going to want to select the draw mask. All right, and then just drag it on top of your clip. And you're going to see at the bottom, it's going to say click to add control point. So what we're going to do is I'm going to outline the subject. Now, the more points that you add, the more you'll be able to fine tune it. So just keep that in mind. I mean, you don't want to add a lot of points, but the more that you add, the easier it is to fine tune your mask around your subject. And what I like to do is I just go a little bit off the bottom and then on the outside, if you're doing like a corner like this, just to make sure that I have all the section uh, masked out or whatever. So you should have something like this. So in your inspector, up under your, so in your inspector, up under effects, if for some reason you don't see it, just click the show button and then you're going to find your draw mask and go ahead and click invert mask. And you'll notice now that the subject is black and then you have the outline right here. So after we do this, we're going to come over here to our effects browser again and we're going to look for blur. So we have blur right here, and we're going to look for the Gaussian blur. So just click on that and then drag it onto your top clip. Make sure that top clip is selected again, excuse me, and then just drag it right on top of your clip. So that's with the blur effect, with the mask. So what you want to do is you want to come back up here to your inspector, under your effects, and you've inverted your draw mask, whatever. And then you can add like a little bit of feather and fall off, uh, fill opacity. Uh, make sure the shape type is linear and the view is composite. And then under your uh, blur right here, the amount, it's going to be 50 by default. Drop that down to about 13 to 18, somewhere in that range, until you achieve like a more natural look. I mean, you don't want something like this. And then obviously you want just a little bit of blur. So whatever you think looks good, just adjust it, adjust it to your liking. It's all subjective. So I think I had it about 15, 14, something like that. That looks pretty good right there. And then you can do the blur boost too if you want to adjust that. And then the vertical and horizontal. I mean, whatever you think looks good, just start playing with these parameters to achieve the desired effect that you want. But basically, you'll end up with something similar to this. So we have this nice depth of field right here. But you can sit here and fine tune it. So if you want to bring back up the the mask points, just double click up here in the effect browser where it said draw mask. Just double click on the name. And then you'll see that it'll bring the points back up. This is why you want to make sure you have more points because then you can fine tune it around the subject that you are trying to keep in focus. So if you have any questions or comments about this depth of field tutorial, please feel free to leave that below. 
Please give the video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. All the usual stuff. You know what the routine is. All right. Peace. Hope everyone has a great day.